chef and ambassador for Light and Easy, Dom, is here to show us that a bacony, creamy spaghetti can in fact be slightly healthy or healthy. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Absolutely. I like to hear this. And I'm very intrigued at how this is going to work. <laughs> well, look, Light and Easy are very passionate about trying to pack as many vegetables as they can into sauces. Some things might be a little hidden, and mm -hmm. this is a little trick that I'm going to be showing you today nice. for this delicious uh, spaghetti carbonara. Now, okay. purists out there, potentially might be going, this is not a real carbonara, mm -hmm. but it is so tasty and full of great vegetables and full of flavour. So let's get started. Yes. The bacon and mushrooms, we're going to actually just bake that off in the oven. So we're not adding any extra oil to that. Okay. And that's going to kind of bring all the flavour of the bacon mix in with the mushrooms. It's going to be a little bit caramelised. Ooh, nice. And we're going to add it into the pasta later. While you're doing that, yes. I am going to get the sauce ready. Sure. And usually you would fry off the bacon um, and the mushrooms together, but it does need a lot of oil for it to get going. But I guess this is a little trick that Lainese are doing by just roasting it in the oven, right. minimal oil is used. And the type of bacon too, uh, what type of bacon are we using? So we've just got the round of the bacon, so the eye of the bacon, very lean, yes. but you are going to just still get that wonderful smokiness. And God, who doesn't love bacon? I mean, we all love, love we bacon. We all love bacon. So, Justine, look for the sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, onion, garlic, two famous Italian ingredients are going to a lot of sauces. Yep. A little key ingredient and a trick that we're going to use to give this sauce its creaminess and also to kind of bulk it out is cauliflower. Mm. We love cauliflower. Mm. Well, I guess after it cooks down and you blend it, it really looks like a cream Exactly, sauce. exactly. And because it has such a neutral flavour, you barely taste that it's there. Mm -hmm. So into this we're going in with a little bit of pumpkin as well. Okay. So next is the mustard, which is going to just give it a little bit more flavour and a bit of a tang mm -hmm. as well. Okay. And um, really kind of complement the cauliflower and the pumpkin. Finally, we've got some chicken stock. Mm -hmm. So this is a beautiful homemade chicken stock. Light and easy make all their stocks. They don't use any boosters or cubes or anything like that. Okay. And all we do now is just let this simmer until the cauliflower and the onion is really nice and soft and then we're going to puree it. So easy. So over here we've got the mushrooms that have been finely chopped. Yeah. Um, I've just mixed them up with the bacon. And how long are we going to bake this so in the oven look, for? about 10-15 minutes and it should come out really caramelised. Yeah. The mushrooms, it looks a lot, but they will definitely cook down. Sure. Do I need any oil at no, all? No, nothing. All right, in it goes. By the time this is ready, that'll be ready to blend. Too ready easy. Ready to go. and mushroom mix has come out of the oven. It's cooked down nicely. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, to finish off our carbonara sauce, yes. now we're going in with the ingredients that people would normally put in. So a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. some cream, drizzle. Just a little cream. Just a little. <laughs> and um, oh, about a tablespoon or so of the Gran Padano. Okay. We've got our pasta cooking. Al dente, of course. Al dente, of course. Yes. And when you're doing a lighter version of a pasta sauce, you're also reducing the pasta size too? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of salt and pepper, mm -hmm. to a bit of seasoning, and of course black pepper, mm -hmm. what you love in the carbonara, nice. traditionally that nice black pepper. And then, uh, Justine, if you'd like to put your mushroom and bacon, and then I'll get you just to separate that egg for me, and we're going to finish it off with an egg yolk that's just going to give it that beautiful, rich mm. flavour. Now, I'm going to turn the heat off too so that egg doesn't actually cook in the sauce. Well, that's the key with a carbonara, using that egg yolk um, to just bind everything together without scramble. We don't want scrambled eggs. No, that's right. We just want that nice... for it to kind of meld in and, and just give it that lovely kind of creaminess mm. and nice and quick. And then also, we're just mm -hmm. going to go straight in from the pasta pot. We're not even going to drain the pasta and hopefully mm. we'll get some of that beautiful pasta water. Mm. Gone are the days of getting rid of that water. We love that oh, no. water. <laughs> <laughs> So just Lovely. give this a little stir through. Now, Justine, I've got a little bit of parsley, if you wouldn't mind chopping that up for me. My pleasure. And that's just going to go over the top as garnish. Nice. All right. 
What I love really about this dish and about the meals from Light and Easy is they're packed with flavour and packed with vegetables. And we all know that eating five serves of vegetables a day, I mean, it's the best thing that we can do mm -hmm. for our health. Justine, I'm just going to give you a little bit of sauce on top. Sure. Lovely. And a sprinkle of parsley. of parsley. And then some of that grana padano. If you saw that, you would go, that's a really creamy pasta, but we tricked you. <laughs> <laughs> it's got minimal cream and butter um, and it's going to be super tasty. Let's have a taste. Absolutely, hey? thank you. Whenever I do this, I always get far too much of my fork. Mm. <laughs> Don't. As I say in Italian, buonissimo. Nothing else to say. Buonissimo. That pasta is al dente and the sauce, the sauce is so yum. Dom, you've done it again. <laughs>